In this video I used the vignetting effect to create a more beautiful photo from a simple image. Vignetting in photography means the darkening of the areas at the border of the photo. This can either be an artistic choice. Using a vignette is a great way to guide the viewer's eye to our subject. I am going to change this little image of the little lamb. I open the guided mode and first I remove the background of the lamb. I used the automatic selection tool which is able to select humans and animals automatically. Then using add an irish tool I add also the rock to the selection. If the selection is done I save the cutout as I will need it later. Now I open the editor and import a lamp using the add photo layer menu item. and I select the cutout from the background removal gallery. Since I don't need the current background, I'm going to unlock the little lock here on the background layer, then I remove this layer using the delete function from the layer context menu. I create a new solid color layer. I select the suitable color for the background. Maybe this green will be okay. Then drag the solid color layer below the lamp layer to make the lamp visible. The next step to open the adjustment section, but first let's save the created image. Then expand the global adjustment tools panel. And within the panel, the lens correction panel. Here we can find a vignetting effect function. Use the shade slider to adjust the nature of the shade. A positive value makes the edges of the image brighter, a negative value makes the edges of the image darker. The size slider adjusts the size of the vignette effect. The higher the value, the more of the image is taken up by the vignette. Roundness lets you adjust the shape of the effect between circle and ellipsoid. Use the feather slider to adjust the transition of the vignette effect. The lower the value, the harder the transition, a higher value gives a nice gradient transition. So my new picture of the lamp is ready. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time. Bye.